Okay, we're back at the Citrix booth. I've been uh, waiting uh, eagerly to get an interview with these guys to talk about uh, User Profile Manager, the tech preview that we're announcing here. So I'm here with uh, a, a couple of guys who are going to go ahead and introduce yourselves. Hey, I'm David Wagner. I'm on the uh, product management team at Citrix for a while. We've on uh, quite a few products, everything from MetaFrame Linux, Governing Manager, and now User Profile Manager. All right, excellent. Yeah, hello. My name is Dustin. I work for Cotton Mobile here. All right, excellent. So you guys here are talking about the uh, announcement that was announced today of Citrix doing an acquisition of the technology for Sapago for Profile Manager. All right, so, you know, what's important to the customers? I mean, a lot of people know profiles are a pain, so let's just boil it right down. What's important to customers about Profile Manager? Well, I mean, one of the critical things is the consistency of it because the user pain is always seen as a pain. So anytime the user is a favorite or pain, so more help desk costs, more costs. So save, save support costs, and reduce the amount of problems that users have. Reduce downtime. So it, in many ways, it reduces the risk of using a centralized environment as well. All right, so let's see what you're showing here in the booth. So basically what, what User Profile Manager offers is a really simple service that just installs on whatever machine is going to be processing the user's login. So it's called the Citrix User Profile Manager. You install that, it runs, and it basically watches for users to log on and log off. What does it do? It does whatever you tell it to do. Uh, User Profile Manager leverages uh, group policy objects to actually define what should be done. This is where you tell it, you know, what folders should it watch for, you know, what uh, registry settings it should track. And basically out of the box, when you set this up, it'll watch for everything. Cookies, favorites, app data, wow. uh, my documents, um, desktop. And really it's built to work with folder redirection. So you can use folder redirection on kind of the easy things, my doc, desktop. And things like application data that tends to carry a lot of extra baggage. Right. You use this to actually, you know, instead of using folder redirection, you use this to say, I only want these folders, or I want you to exclude these folders. So this runs as a service, and a lot of the all the settings come through group policy objects. Yes, absolutely. So um, it's very simple to set up. Oh, absolutely. In fact, it's even simpler than that because the way we've got this set up, especially if you're just kicking the tires on it, you don't want to go through the trouble of setting up a group policy. There's actually INI files that will be installed with the service, and that has a lot of those base settings I just talked about. So literally, you install it, and it immediately starts working. So where are all settings. the settings stored? Um, the settings can be stored in really two locations, the group policy object or an INI file. Oh, okay. So, so it reads it for every user. It, the service, yeah. Right. Not for every user, but every time the service starts, it applies those settings to oh, every I user. Oh, I see. So is there any granularity? Absolutely. Oh, fantastic. So, on the high level, you can just do something as simple as saying, I want app data, cookies, favorites, and I'm going to let my documents and desktop be handled by folder redirection. Then all of a sudden you realize that, wow, app data is pulling a lot of extra files from some application that's got hundreds of megabytes. So you can go in there and say, well, exclude that directory or exclude those files. And so from then on, when the user logs off, it'll just leave those behind and won't so direct them. So what's the, the impact profile. on profile size? Um, well, if you're excluding files that are carrying a gigabyte of extra information, you just cut your profile it's wow. by a gigabyte. All right. And uh, the other question is, you know, how, what's the impact on login times? Um, again, it's going to be a function of how long um, it takes your profiles to load. By optimizing your profiles and only carrying the information that you need, instead of having to wait for a profile to load all the information, you tell it, I only want this information. So you so, can really slenderize. So there are some size. substantial benefits, potentially, depending oh, yeah, on your environment. Imagine, imagine that app data folder that has 100 megabytes that you don't need to carry with you. So what, when is this going to be available, and how is it going to be packaged, if you know that yet? Um, a lot of that information still to be decided. A lot of that is what we're discussing with partners and customers. But the technology preview is available today. So you can go out to citrix.com slash UPM, the profile manager, and it's got a technology FAQ with links to uh, the white paper that links to the download and it points to the uh, support form. And it's just a MySitrix download. So once you log in, you'll see it there. All right.
right. Thank you so much, guys.